right, guys, welcome back um, to the Adventure World Max YouTube channel. Uh, today we have another uh, product for you. It's a uh, instant hot water heater that we're going to use for hopefully uh, dishes, showers, uh, all kinds of things around my house. I know for a fact I'm going to use it on. Um, so let's get this thing opened up and uh, show it to you. So as you can tell, it's uh, from uh, Camplux. This is the model uh, F10 Pro uh, in white, and it's a uh, 2.64 gallons per minute. So, and what, 68,000 BTU? Yeah, 68,000 BTU. those in a minute all kinds of things here get that stuff out of the way So this came already with the gas line installed, so we don't have to deal with that. Um, this version is just slick, so it's hard for me to move this around. This is the uh, single dial version. Yeah, really, it's two dials, but it's a, a single dial. One is for the gas, for how hot, and this is for how much water pressure that's going to come out of it. We got an LED indicator right here, I'm sure. Um, here's the handle. You can see that for hanging it on whatever you need to hang it to. Um, there's also locations here in the back um, if you want to hang on to something like that or, you know, use this to hang it up on a wall in a more permanent fashion. Um, here's a bunch of use and care instructions back here. Um, let's get to some dimensions here. So it's 13 inches wide, 18 and a half inches tall. And five and probably three quarter. Well, yeah, but I guess five and three quarters inches uh, deep. All right. So with this kit, we have this particular the F10 Pro, or I think what is whatever I said it was. <laughs> um, okay. So there's the instructions. This is our uh, water intake line. Now this is going to be interesting because I think it's going to work. And I've got a little trick I'm going to do on this that. I think you guys will find uh, pretty sweet if you have the same situation. This is our, what is this? Okay, this is our water pump. That open. So full blown water pump, some angled joints and connections. Uh, this is probably the filter between the, this and the pump. Some instructions in there. We'll leave those there for now. This is our hot water out and the nozzle. We'll open that up. Connections, connections everywhere. So there's our shower head, a folder for the shower head. Okay. We have our uh, power connection here with uh, alligator clips. And we also have Another power connection here with the 12 volt cigarette lighter. Two different kinds of uh, fresh water hoses. One that has the connections on both end and one that has a connection on one end and then it's just cut off here. And that's for like sticking into a water barrel, a uh, water jug or something like that. Any kind of receptacle with a small opening. Now, if you have the water port, um, which is what I use, Currently, for if I need to take a shower, if I need to do dishes or rinse things, um, I'm hoping that this is exactly the same connector. I think it is. So let's find out. And it is excellent. Okay, that's going to be awesome because what we're going to do is we'll use the water port 
now to feed the shower. So that, that'll be our 2.8 gallons um, for any hot water needs that we may have. Okay, this does require two heat cell batteries to run. Those go right here. Let's push that. There we go, it's got battery orientation right there. So this one goes this way, this one goes this way. Uh, this probably only goes in one way. I'm sure it does just like that. Give it a shove, and it's in. Okay, so right here on the bottom, this is our gas inlet. We have our water outlet, so that's gonna be for our hot water, and our water inlet, which is gonna be our cold water or blue line. All right, let's get our quick release nipples installed. Oh, everybody say hello to my uh, car alarm bird every morning from 5.30 till, geez, I don't know, a while. That guy just goes through his gamut of alarm sounds. Okay, so we have a quick release red, obviously for the hot water, and a quick release blue for the cold water. Um, they have a gasket. I don't know if we need to tape them, but I think I'm going to. <clears throat> Which is awesome because me and plumber's tape get along about as well as me and saran wrap. If there was such a thing as kryptonite, <laughs> these would be them. Pull that one off there. All right, pretty sad, but it'll get the job done. Nothing like doing stuff left-handed. All right, so the plan will be to hang it somewhere <clears throat> around here somewhere. Um, boy, that's sketchy. But this is the shower enclosure. So it's going to need to be somewhat close, either that or maybe I'll, I'll build some kind of an arm that I can swing out over here and then it can hang right here, which is probably ideal. But for now, we'll, uh, we'll do this. I'm going to get a piece of rope or something and strap it here so it doesn't fall. All right, a little bit of change of plans. We mounted it up there just with a little strap. All right, so well, that's, that's pushing it right there on the gas. If I want to use this one, matter of fact, it's too far. So we definitely need to come up with a different solution here as far as uh, where to mount it, because it looks like it's going to need to be right in this general area, which I can make happen, not a problem. We'll figure that out. All right, let's get some air pumped into this thing. Let's see if it works. It would be totally awesome if it worked correctly. Make sure that's nice and tight. Got our, I could just use the air out of the tank in the truck, but I got this little pump just so I don't have to get that out all the time. This is the wrong size. Interesting. Well, I'm glad we tested that. I hadn't tested that yet. I just bought that a little while ago. It's marrying it. It's only supposed to put maybe 25 pounds max. Don't want it to explode in my head. It's pretty full too, so we'll just put put 20 pounds. All right. So it looks like our blue hose is not going to reach from here to there. So what we'll do is we'll use the hose that comes with it, with the uh, water port, and we'll connect it here, just like that. So that should work. Connect that one down here, just like that. Oh, that's good for the paint. All right, let's see if this works. Got gas set to, we'll just set it to high. 
set the water to medium pressure, um, and push the button, and look at that. So that part works. I need this to kick on. Which makes me wonder if my batteries are old and no good. All right, the struggle is real. So this actually worked for this unit. The problem is there wasn't enough pressure to kick it on. So I tested that by a go ahead and getting the pump squared away. So we put the pump temporarily. Um, so I've got the hose coming into it. It's plugged into a jackery. Here's our cool water going in and then turn it on. Pump first, pump is on. And there you go, you hear it kick on. Probably can't see that, but it says 120, 130 degrees. Yep, that's hot. So I think this is how we can maybe turn it down. We'll have to read the instructions on that one. Well, maybe just add more water. But yeah, it's 154 degrees. That's, <laughs> that's entirely too hot. There we go. It's going down now. Let's turn our this look nice and low. There we go. Dropping like a rock. You probably can't see that very well. 122, 120. Still too hot for a shower. 115, but you can see a lot of pressure. Hundred and thirteen. There's get you to a nice nice uh, that's as low as that'll go. We'll just turn that water up a little more. 111. Okay. Looks like we ran out of water. And shut off once we lost enough pressure. So yeah. Let's um, let's get that filled back up all the way to the top, and uh, we'll actually do a timer on how long that water lasts. All right, we're going to kick our pump back on, and ready. Everything's ready to go. We'll hit our start. Turn our water on. There she goes. And we filled that bad boy to the top. 99, 100. See if you can see that. 105, 106. It's like a stand right about 106. That's perfect for all I would need for a hot shower. <laughs> riveting, riveting video. But I want to see how much time it takes to use up all this water. But that's good pressure. I mean, I'd be done with the shower by now. Because, you know, you do, just like you do in an RV if you have one, um, you know, it's like, turn it off, lather up. You know, you got wet, lather up, rinse off real quick. You know, and then you turn off. So, oops, we're messing up our timer right here. Still full speed. As long as you can hear that pump running, you can probably maybe even see it over here in the corner. The water running through it. And she kicked off. So we'll get back out and we are at, we still got some water going. It's just, just now it's lukewarm. Okay. So there you go. It's probably a gallon a minute. Um, I'll turn that off. Probably close to a gallon a minute at least because we used, uh, you know, probably, probably two and a half gallons in two and a half minutes. You know, we'll take off 10 seconds for me turning it on and off, turning it on and off. But all right, so we definitely are going to have to play around with um, how we're going to locate it is, you know, this is stretched to the gills. I definitely don't want this inside the shower enclosure because I don't want it getting wet. Um, so more than likely we will, yeah, we'll have to figure something out um, to get it to where the uh, gas line will reach. I could always, I could always change that gas line out and make it longer for my application. We'll find out. Uh, or we can <clears throat> always have it over here where I planned and use a separate gas than this one. Um, I've got a big one in there 
that we could use um, for portability sakes. But yeah, I think that's going to provide um, everything that you would want in, um, like I said, taking a nice warm shower, you saw that, um, cleaning dishes. I mean, you could crank that bad boy, you know, as hot as you want to get it. What was that, 100 and, I think we peaked at 150 something degrees. It's pretty hot. Um, yeah, it'd be perfect for uh, cleaning dishes. Uh, you know, especially if you had to get some nice hot water in there, you know, to get the stuff off that was stuck. But um, I don't know what it used in propane, but it doesn't really matter, I guess, uh, unless you're trying to do it off little bottles or something. But um, wouldn't do it off anything, you know, smaller than this. You know, I could, well, you could. I just don't know how long they would last. But um, but I think that's it. I know uh, uh, the wife likes to give the dogs warm baths and or warm, you know, when they take their bath, so they do it in the bathroom which is a fiasco and the shaking and the water all over all the uh, counters and everything in there is just terrible um, in the winter. And so I think what we'll do is probably use this for sure. We can take that in the backyard and um, fire it up pretty simply, take a jackery back there, a propane tank, which we have plenty of for the barbecues, um, and give them nice warm baths out on the uh, back patio where they belong uh, taking baths. So. Um, Anyway, I think it's going to be great. Um, thanks again, Camplunks, for sending this thing to me. Um, it's been on my list to get. Uh, I just haven't done it, you know. And they were kind enough to say, hey, uh, try this out. Tell us what you think. And so far, I think it's pretty outstanding. Um, they make multiple different sizes. I think they've got some short ones here. And they've got some that have, you know, two dials. Um, you know, there's all different price points. So you can go up the price point, down the price point. I think this is one of their top-of-the-line ones. But there's lots to be had um, that in a much smaller package, uh, especially for like those of you that are in Jeeps and things like that, where you're, you know, your package or your uh, packing space is at a premium. Um, you know, you get something half this size, roughly, uh, makes it a lot easier to haul around. And then you've already got everything else. So, um, you know, thanks for tuning in on this one, and uh, we will definitely catch you guys on another video.